Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. If this is your first time to one of our videos, well, it's going to be a good day for you. But also, we usually upload beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces to this channel. This video is uncut. And in today's Uncut, I just wanted to say thank you. And I'm going to say thank you in my own particular way. Not just with words, but with actions. And uh, I'm going to tell you exactly how I'm going to give that thank you before this video is over. But right now, I'm going to show you some of these snakes right here. And we'll get to the thank you part in, in just a moment. So this is our first clutch that we hatched this season. And these snakes are looking absolutely phenomenal. They're all eating like champions. A couple of them are in shed, but that's okay. We'll just, uh, you know, there's always going to be one or two in shed. I would have loved to wait for them to shed out. However, I needed to make this video right now. So we're doing it. We'll start with the first one. And that's this boy right here. And I'm going to show you something, okay? This is, this is a hypo clutch. Every, every animal in this clutch is hypo. And what I'm going to do before this video is over is I'm going to show you one of the animals that is genetically identical to mom and pull out mom and put her and her son side by side so you can see exactly what I'm talking about with hypo. Because what I've been talking about with hypo is that it looks and ages perfectly. It, the babies look virtually identical to the parents. And you're going to see that in a side-by-side -side comparison with mom and her son when we get there. And then after that, I'll be doing my big thank you and telling you how I'm going to do that. So um, my thank you, by the way, is just for you guys that have been watching this channel, supporting this channel, just for, just for watching and engaging with this channel. Because this channel means a lot to me. And uh, so therefore, the people that engage with it and, and take heart with it mean a lot to me too. So I always wanted to do a small part to say thank you and maybe it'd be a bigger part depending on how you look at it. But uh, let's let's look at these animals and thank you guys for, for your support. This, this has been a lot of fun and I appreciate you guys that just stick around and watch all the videos. It's, it's great. It's great. It's so much better to have people watching it if I'm just making it for nothing, obviously. Um, so here we go. First boy. This is a straight up hypo, hypomelanistic meaning uh, you know, it's taking away some of the melanin. It's a gene that's taking away some of the melanin, so it's got a lighter color than if it was a wild type or normal ball python. And you'll see later how that really looks with mom and how it ages so well. But these, this dude is uh, all chunked up, had some, some meals, and I got one escaping over here, so I'm a little distracted, sorry. But here he goes. Looking absolutely phenomenal. Look at that. Look at how beautiful those oranges are in this guy. Almost looks like a, a mandarin or something. You guys ever seen the mandarin gene? That's what's kind of reminded me of right, right now as I look in the monitor here. And gosh, he, he is just good. As I look at this guy, I'm thinking well, maybe he's not going anywhere. <laughs> but uh, all of these animals are currently up on morph market, actually. So there is that factor. Um, wow. Wow, he's just gonna get better and better too, isn't he? Ooh, 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 is he ready for food again? I can't imagine you're ready for food again. Okay, all right, that's that guy. That's that guy right there, straight hypo male. Now let's take a look at the next animal in our group, which is a honeybee. And a honeybee is a hypo spider. And, you know, I, I know the spider has gotten, gotten some bad press and you know there there is a neurological thing attached with spiders as many people know at this point and uh this is kind of an example of it right here i would say honestly as you can tell how she's just kind of she uh, I, I don't remember if this is a he or she she might be a female actually um just a little bit you know a little bit funky a little bit a little bit weird in how she holds her head sometimes um, hasn't stopped her from eating like an absolute champ and you can see the little bit of little bit of wobble on the 
the front of the face, which is sometimes something they can grow out of too, you know, but, or grow into. So there's that, that to be considered. But yeah, honeybee hypo, spider, and just, again, the beauty of the snake is apparent when you look at it. The oranges that come up the side, that spider really accentuates these whites. It almost looks like, you know, how it has that calico kind of thing where there's these white spots coming up the belly and just absolutely phenomenal. And there's some gorgeous pictures up on Morph Market too. I'll put the link down in the description so you guys can see some of these still photos I took in the light box that are, you know, able to capture them a little better than a video can. Uh, but that's, I should have been 100% certain if these were male. It says on Morph Market if it's a male or female, but I should have known before I started this video, but I didn't, and it's uncut. It's a boy. There they go. Peens popping out. Very healthy looking peens too, by the way. Those things are thick, red, and juicy. <laughs> yeah, that's what they are. Uh, okay, let's take a look at these next two are both females, and they're also both in shed, so they have an extra look. You know, you, some people say that a regular ball python that is not hypo when it's in shed takes on like some hypo characteristics. So, which I believe as well, and I, I recognize that. But let's take a look here and see uh, what a hypo in shed looks like. It looks like that. It looks just like that. So, different. The, this one, this girl, for whatever reason, has a, a very colored belly versus the rest of her siblings have more of a white ish belly, whereas hers is kind of the same color as the back, and it's like this peach. You can see that peach that comes down the sides inside the alien heads there. That peach continues to all the way down the belly for whatever reason on this snake. At first I thought it was just some fresh or wet cocoa blocks that was uh, maybe staying in her belly, but then after she shed and it looked exactly the same, I was like, oh, it's another one of those snakes that has that, that interestingly colored belly. And she has one. And yeah, you can see that eye giving away the fact that it is actually a snake in shed and not just the hypo gene looking all opaque-ish or, you know, semi-see-through, whatever you want to call it. Let's get out her sister, who, as I mentioned, is also in shed. And if I had to take my pick, if I had to choose, honestly, if I had to choose between that girl right there, which if you look on the morph market, it's she's a... Uh, got the number below, so this would be the next number higher as far as their ID number goes. I think that she is just a slightly better example of, well, I didn't even say what that other snake was, but she's the same as this one, which is a GHI honeybee. So same as the second snake I showed, but add GHI. Hypo spider GHI. Uh, take a look there at that back pattern. Very nice, very sexy, dare I say. Yeah, I say that. I dared it. I done did it. I said it out loud with my mouth into the microphone. Oh, yeah. I'll do it again. It'll be great. So, now that I'm, I'm going to stop being weird. <clears throat> just kidding. <laughs> I can't. I can't stop being weird. That's just how I am. All right. There we go. That is her uh, GHI honeybee number two. Again, pictures on Morph Market you can see in much more detail. Now let's take a look at uh, their brother. And this is going to be second to last. We got one more snake after this as far as the siblings go. Sorry I didn't zoom out to talk to you. I should have said, hi, I'll be right back. Here I am, I'm back with another snake. And this dude... Chomping down meals as well. Uh, all frozen thawed, by the way, we feed only frozen thawed around here for those of you guys that don't know. Uh, it's just how we do it. We get all the babies started on frozen thawed. It is a painstaking process, but I think that the people that end up getting our snakes are uh, happier for it that, we, that we've taken that time to get them started on frozen thawed. And it just seems to be easier for most people. Uh, and it's much easier to get them on live than go the other direction, go from live to frozen thought, I think. That's my personal opinion. Everybody's gonna have a different experience. Uh, this is the boy, GHI Hypo Spider. And I kept, this one, because of the thickness of the things, he kept tricking me about thinking it was pinstripe, but I think I was just tripping because 
Mom is also, oh, we got a snake like way over here. Please don't crawl up the microphone cable. Thank you. I appreciate it. I probably should have had a lid for that box. Um, so this dude is the closest. I mean, he looks a lot like his sisters too. The other uh, GHA hypo spiders. But this dude, do I have a lid? Oh, <laughs> I do have a lid. That's going to be helpful. So, I mean, this dude is like this spitting image of his mother. So I'm just going to grab her real quick so you can see. So this is your example right here to see how hypo causes these ball pythons to age in such a way that they basically don't age, so to speak. Not this showing up well. Oh, it's going to be harder than I thought to hold both of them. And now they're all movie. When I got her out earlier and held them side by side, I was oh, look, they're sitting nice and perfect. That's good. But they're not this time. Okay, let me get my face out of the way. So this thing can focus. No, face out of the way. There we go. There we go. Look at that. GHI, hypo spider, mom, and son. Basically identical. She basically aged and turned out looking just like she did as a baby, which is what hypo does much of the time. Um, okay. That, that was more difficult than I expected it to be. So I'm going to put this snake back. And oh, they're, they're getting in that mode. They're getting warmed up. They're all trying to run out of the box at once. You can't see it, but I can. Good thing. All right, mom, getting you away. And the last baby, but certainly not the least, as we do often save the best for last, or the, the one with the most genetics for last. I mean, that on, you could argue that that first hypo male was the best in this clutch. You could definitely argue that. That argument could be made and won. So this is a hypo spinner, hypo spider pinstripe. And I put on Morph Market that possibly GHI, just because GHI was in the pairing. And I, I was, you know, psyching myself out maybe because of the grays that are on the side, little slight grays that come in through in some spots that that was the GHI at work, but maybe not, but I did just want to put possible GHI on there just because it was in the pairing and, you know, if somehow a GHI happened to pop out of this girl, then uh, it would be at least known that the possibility was there. So that's the final snake. And as far as what it is I wanted to do it for a thank you is, is this. Uh, if you're watching this video, and this is going to be a big benefit to you guys, I guess, if, if this is your first time watching a video of ours. Um, you didn't have to do much work other than just find this one right here, and you'll get 10% off of our marked price on Morph Market from this snake. If you mention that you saw this video, and that's why you're coming to me on Morph Market, which is a phenomenal place now for us to be uh, offering our snakes for sale. Morph Market's changing the game. As far as snake sales go, pretty fantastic. Uh, yeah, 10% just if you're watching this video for the first time. If you're a, a patron um, on our Patreon, 20% watching this video. If, uh, if you're somebody who has been engaging with this channel for a long time, um, I was going to do 25% and maybe figure out even more for a Patreon member, maybe something like that. We'll work it out. If you're on Patreon, I mean, we'll, we'll talk it out. But if, if you're somebody that's engaged with this channel for a long time, I wanted to offer 25% off one of these snakes. Um, just, just as a thank you again. And I'll know if you have, because you'll be engaging. It means you've le leave, left comments. And I read every single comment left on this channel, much to my enjoyment, sometimes my chagrin. But... Uh, most often, most often good stuff, feedback, so. But I, I have, I've read every, which, wow, that's crazy to think about. I have read every single comment ever left on this channel. Every single one of them. Hmm. Wow, that's, that's crazy to think about sometimes. But that's what happens. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys very much for all your support over the years. It's been a, a great journey. We got a long way to go still. Not a real end in sight anytime in the near future, even distant. We keep doing this. Till my bones won't let me do it anymore. 
So thank you guys for the support again. I really appreciate it. And uh, you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we will see you on the next one. Aloha.